well, in keeping with the Talmudic Jewish custom, this modern Talmudic Jewish custom of hating on free speech, which seems to be a growing problem in the Western world, uh, it seems that uh, according to the Jewish Telegraph Agency, these uh, Talmudic Jews are now upset at Elon Musk for allowing free speech because it puts it allows anti-Semites on Twitter. So, and the problem is too is they conflate so-called anti-Semitism with just criticism of Judaism. So, because I've been called anti-Semitic for criticizing Judaism. So, when they, what they call anti-Semite, I'd be listed in that category as well. It's a bunch of garbage, but it says here on the, Jew on the Jewish Telegraph Agency, now that Elon Musk is taking over, online anti-Semites see opening as Twitter is handed over to Musk. And this was back in October of 2022, but certainly is rele relevant for today, since there seems to be, I showed in my other video, there's a custom, it seems, of Talmudic Jews hating on free speech, which is not surprising since they tried to shut down Jesus Christ as well when he was rebuking their heresy. The Jewish Pharisees, that was, the Talmudic Jewish Pharisees. He was rebuking their false religion of Judaism. But it says here, online extremists emboldened by Kanye West recent anti-Semitic diatribes and by Elon Musk pledge to loosen content moderation policies on Twitter after taking control of the social media platform this week have launched a new hashtag campaign targeting Jews. Now that Elon Musk is taking over Twitter, it's time to finally put our skills to use, unquote, uh, wrote an anonymous user on 4chan, the hate-filled online forum. There will, be a ma there will be maximum chaos at Twitter over the next 40 hours, so now is our time to strike while the iron is hot, unquote. The 4chan user called on others to use the hashtag, the noticing. Uh, while posting anti-Semitic content on Twitter, especially messages harping on Nazi-inspired ideas that Jews control the world through hidden, uh, basically, basically through hidden machinations, whatever. Not good at reading on a computer, so I've made that clear in other videos. But uh, the problem is too is they lump anybody who criticizes Judaism with Nazis. Okay, I can't be a Nazi. You want to why? Because I'm Slavic. Okay, uh, Slavs were heavily targeted by the Nazis. We were like target. I mean, we we were. I mean, we were probably the second most targeted group, apart from the Jews. So, calling me a Nazi would be like calling a Jew a Nazi, pretty much, if we're going to be consistent. Uh, so, no criticism of Judaism does not make me some kind of neo-Nazi. But the problem is, is that you have actual full-on neo-Nazis that get lumped into the category of just criticism of Judaism, which is in the broad category of anti-Semitism, where the problem comes into play. So I can come out and say, hey, I, I think Judaism is satanic and false, and uh, the, Jew, the, the Talmudic Jews crucify Jesus Christ according to scripture, and I get called neo-Nazi, you know? Even though, uh, if I was alive back in Nazi Germany, I'd be in the concentration camps. So anyway, uh, but the problem is we have this double standard on the Talmudic Jewish side. But it says here in the article, the resulting wave of hateful content on Twitter over the past two days was highlighted by actor Seth Rogen, who is Jewish. He tweeted about the hashtag campaign to his 9.4 million followers on Friday. Uh, quote, anyone who wants to see how much anti-Semitism is thriving right now, just check, just check the hashtag, quote, the hashtag the noticing, unquote, Rogen wrote. Rogen soon deleted the tweet, perhaps because many Jewish you Many Jewish users have argued, including this week, that pointing out, uh, pointing to tweets by anti-Semites serves to amplify their hateful message. And I also need to point this out as well. Uh, the, you'll notice the rise of so-called anti-Semitism actually correlates with certain behavior exhibited by various Talmudic Jewish organizations, such as trying to shut down free speech and to shut down uh, the exchange of ideas. But it says here, continuing on in the article, uh, given Twitter's importance as a global social media platform used by world leaders, media figures, and celebrities, Musk, Musk's takeover of the company is being closely watched. Many in the Jewish world are bracing for, in particular, for changes that can lead to the further spread of racist and anti-Semitic ideas online. Again, there's, there's, it's a bit of a problem there because what they would call anti-Semitic is even just any criticism of Judaism. You know, that's, that's kind of the problem, even though I've never attack Jews as a racial, I've always ever criticized, every time I criticize Jews, I'm doing it in a religious context. I'm criticizing religious Jews. I've never once attacked uh, ethnic Israel. But of course, people who are wanting to answer the matter before they hear it will accuse me of that anyway. Uh, the head of the Anti-Defamation League said Musk's willingness to welcome Kanye West, the rapper who was suspended this month for anti-Semitic posts back to the platform, was worrisome. Why? You know, as much as I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of Kanye West, uh, free speech, you know, free speech is not just speech you like, okay? In fact, the reason why free speech is important is because it protects speech you don't like. That's precisely why. You see, for example, uh, this push to ban the swastika. I don't, I don't agree with that, okay? As much as I, I'm, you know, kind of repulsed by the swastika, obviously because I'm a Slavic, if my neighbor wants to put up one, he has the right to do so. It's his free speech. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean I get to censor it. 
And by the way, censorship of speech you don't like is exactly what the Nazis did. So, you know, essentially these Jewish orgs are trying to use Nazi tactics to shut down Nazis. Okay, bit of an inconsistency there. See, if you want to fight Nazis, you don't use their tactics. But it seems to go over their head. We are, it says in the article, we are concerned that Mr. Musk's uh, acquisition uh, basically, accusation, accusation, whatever, of Twitter may escalate what the ADL has seen repeatedly, the pushing out of marginalized communities from social media. CEO Jonathan Greenblatt said in a statement Friday, Musk's endangered, contra uh, uh, endangered sorry, engendered controversy, sorry, in the lead up to his accusation, accu basically, accusation, I think I say, again, not good at reading on a computer, of the company when he vowed to end what he sees as the practices of censorship on the platform. In a message to investors Thursday, however, he appeared to soften his stance. He said that free speech needs to be needed to be balanced with rules that would ensure Twitter is quote warm and welcoming to all. Musk said his goal was to have a common digital town square where a, ri a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner, and that is a good thing. But you see, the problem is is that the many of the Talmudic Jews don't want that because if you criticize Judaism, if you even criticize anything Israel does, they'll just call you anti-Semitic and try to shut you down. I'm not saying all of them do that, but there seems to be a lot of them who do try to do that. So. You know, really, they're the ones who are trying to, you know, again, it's Nazi tactics to try to shut down free speech, which I've said before. But it says that he added that Twitter cannot become a free-for-all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. You know, again, you know, calls for violence obviously are not good. But the problem is, is that I've noticed kind of a, a, correlated, a correlation to where uh, criticism of Judaism or something Israel does gets some of these Jewish orgs thinking that, okay, now we're on to, now we're, you know, close to being on the way to Auschwitz or something. You know, the problem is, is that the exchange of ideas is how you would oppose Nazis, not censoring them. I could say a whole lot more on the whole thing, but uh, it just, you know, censorship of speech you don't like is not what, you know, a free society would do. Plain and simple. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, again, criticism of Judaism uh, is often conflated with, conflated with anti-Semitism, which is not surprising because the Talmudic Jewish Pharisees wanted to shut down the free speech of Jesus Christ. So they've had a long tradition of trying to do that. So anyway, yeah, I mean, this is probably gonna get taken down for hate speech, but I honestly don't care. Uh, the truth is the truth, whether you like it or not. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.